Sometimes you need to query tables or other data sources that are not related and that don't share a join. You have two options for doing that. You can use an intermediate table, that is, a table that shares joins with the data sources you want to use. Or you can add a join. Let's start with the intermediate table. In this example database, employees have to enter a status for each order, but sometimes they forget. The question you want to answer then is, which orders don't have a status and which employees forgot to enter them? On the surface, it looks like we need to use three tables in the query. Employees, orders, and order detail status, because they correspond to the data points in your questions which orders don't have a status and which employees forgot to enter them. Add the tables to the query and you can see these two tables are not joined, but that's okay, right? We can add a join. So we join on the ID fields, run the query and nothing. So now we do what we should have done in the first place and look at the relationships between the tables. When we do, we see what looks like a chain of relationships, employees to orders, orders to order details, and order details to order detail status. Orders and order detail status are not related, but order details is related to them both. That makes order details our intermediate table. In turn, that leads to a rule. As long as the intermediate tables are part of your data source, you can query these unrelated tables and get a valid result. You don't have to include the intermediate table in your results, but it has to be part of your query's data source. So, we add order details to the query, keep the fields the same, and run the query. We filter for blank values, and here's our answer. Now, let's add a join to a query. To do this, keep some more rules in mind. First, the tables or queries you want to join need to have fields with matching or compatible data types. For example, the number and currency data types are compatible, but number and text are not. Second, the join you create only resides in your query. You're not creating a table relationship here. And third, the results should make sense. If the join returns data on orders and company cars, for example, you should probably start over. Let's say we need to know which customers ordered which products. We add customers, orders, and order details to a new query. Now we add the join. We drag customer ID from the customers table to the matching field in the orders table. Here's the join line, and now we have another rule. Access places the field you drag on the left side of the new join. If this isn't what you want, select the join line, press the delete key, and start over. Now that we've taken care of that, we can build the query. We add first name and last name from customers, then product ID, order ID, quantity, and unit price from order details. Run the query, and here's our data. Now you know two techniques you can use when you want to query unrelated data sources. Use an intermediate table or add a join. And the answers to your data questions appear.